Oh boy, that was a, that was an interesting week one. Yeah, best way to put it, interesting. Hey guys, welcome to Touchdown Sports TV. We're going to get right into it, and we're going to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. There was some good this week, but man, there was a lot of bad and there was a lot of ugly. Let's get started with the opener, and we'll just start off, start off by saying I've never seen that many penalties in a football game my entire life watching football. It seemed like a flag was thrown on every play, and to add on to that, it seemed like an injury was happening on every other play. I mean, I think the uh, uh, Falcons linebacker, he got injured like two or three times in the game, but came back every time. I don't know what was up with that, but that, I've never seen that many injuries in my entire life in one game. And are we going back in time in the NFL or something? I mean, if you think back to the NFC Divisional game, and it's a low-scoring, pretty ugly game, and the Falcons have the ball with about two minutes left, they drive it down the field, and what happens? They have first and goal, can't score, second and goal, can't score, third and goal, can't sco score. What do they do on fourth and goal? They throw a pass to Julio Jones, and it's right off his fingertips. Now, if you look back at this game, you have about two minutes left, and they drive it down the field again, and you have first and goal they can't score, second and goal they can't score, third and goal they can't score, and fourth and goal, what do they do? They throw it to Julio Jones, this time he does catch it, but it's out of bounds. I'm telling you, my mind was like blown about this. I could not believe that they that it happened so similar. I mean, is this some conspiracy? Maybe, maybe the NFL is rigged. Maybe, just maybe, maybe they purposely did this. I, I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah, just, just a joke. No, but it still was very interesting to watch that be exactly the same, and. If you go over to Sunday, there are some good games in the morning. The Patriots and Houston game, that was a good game. Um, the uh, San Francisco and Minnesota game, that was a lot. Of, that was a fun game to watch, too. Garoppolo looked a little rusty, but he was okay. But if you look at the one game that was very peculiar, I guess you could say, very interesting, was the Browns and Steelers game. Now, you go in, you think... The Brown, you think the Steelers are going to just finish the Browns off no problem. Tyrod Taylor's playing, not like they have a huge improvement at quarterback. And they take a 20, the Steelers take a 21 to 7 lead and they blow it to the Browns 21 to 21. And they go into overtime. And are you kidding me? Minutes tick off the clock, minute after minute after minute until they get down to about 45 seconds. And the Browns, they finally have their f opportunity. They can't win, they can't win. And finally, they have their opportunity to kick the game-winning field goal. And I don't know, the Browns are apparently cursed. I guess so, because it's blocked. Yeah, it's blocked. And the game ends, the game ends, and the Browns, Hey, congratulations, Browns fans. You're not going to be completely defeated this year. The Browns did not lose, which is a huge improvement. They ended up tying. As for Steelers fans, that's that's pretty embarrassing, man, to tie with the Browns in week one. I don't know. Very odd. Again, week one, very odd. So if you go, I mean, up right there, I'm just going... Okay, is this how the whole season's gonna go? I don't know. It was fun to watch, at least, though. I mean, to, to watch the Browns do something besides losing, that's that's fun to watch. <laughs> um, anyways, and then you go on to the Bronx, Dem uh, the Denver and uh, Seattle game. That was a good game, but what is up with this Broncos carousel of quarterbacks? They cannot find a quarterback. Manning left. And they have yet to find a quarterback, and you figure Keenum might be the guy. He throws three picks, three interceptions. Sure, he could be rusty. It's week one. We don't want to be freaking out right now. It's only week one. 
But man, if he keeps doing this, how how many quarterbacks do the Broncos have to go through until they finally find their new guy? It, it was pretty. It, it, it was ugly, and you know, I mean, John Elway has to be has to be looking off like it's over. Start to. I need to start calling new teams. Time to start trading yet again. I'll get three quarterbacks. I'll try all three out. See if any of them work. Honestly, it's like lottery with Elway. He just has to get lucky sooner or later. <laughs> Anyways, and then finally we go to Sunday Night Football. And uh, that game, the Bears absolutely dominated for the first half. Especially after the rich man, the... the 170 plus million dollar man, the richest football player on the field. Oh, he goes down with the knees and he's carted off the field. Packer fans, I, I don't know what they were thinking during that time, but they had to just have been stunned. Like, and not, not even say anything. I mean, I couldn't believe when I saw him being carted off the field. I'm like, so you pay him all that money. He gets injured in week one. And I'm like, he tore his ACL. He broke his leg. Something like that. Season engine, ending injury. And now you have to pay this guy all that money so he can stand on the sideline and watch the Sean Kaiser play quarterback. Yeah, that, that that was interesting to watch too. I mean, basically, he did a run play only with Khalil Mack and he gave the ball to the other team. And then he also wanted to play catch with Khalil Mack and he just decided to lob a little pass right to him. You know, I guess they were in the playground playing catch together. I mean, wow, he is a, Kaiser's an interesting guy to watch. You'll definitely see him. Um, You'll definitely see some interesting plays with him, but, uh, hey, I mean, Packer fans, they had to have been, like, hallelujah, oh my goodness, Rodgers is back on the field, I, I, when he came back at one, he looked like he was 50, he looked like he was 50 years old, and, uh, I mean, honestly, could barely walk, the guy was hobbling on one leg, and, it just shows you how good Rodgers is. I mean, that's a lot of money, but don't you guys think he, does, he deserves it? I mean, comment below if you guys thought he thinks he, he deserves money. But, uh, you know, he goes, and he's down 20 to nothing and leads his team to a 24-23 lead. Average Rodgers, classic Rodgers. So, hopefully he's okay. I mean, that, that'll that make Packer fans feel a little better, but... uh. Anyways, yeah, that was a little scary, especially for Packer fans, what happened to Rodgers there. Anyway, guys, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so, so much for watching this, and, uh, yeah, we'll talk more coming week, too. All right, guys, see you later. Bye, and out,